I've got big plans for next week. We saw you shake it up a little bit. You went to the piano for Midnight Train. First time I ever saw you on the stage that you looked a little nervous. I was really nervous, actually. <laughs> I definitely need to be more comfortable on the piano. I really haven't played piano in years. Definitely need to sharpen up a little. Did you, going into that day, feel like I'm fully committed to the piano, or did you ever consider like not doing it? That was a hard morning, actually, because um, uh, Ricky Minor actually had come up and he, he didn't say it was bad, but it was in a way, kind of, he was like, he was like, I think you should just sing this one. And I was back and forth. I was like, it's really important to me that I play an instrument no matter what. Because at that point, I wasn't ready to do the black velvet walk out and, you know, hoo-ha, what <laughs> not. Um, so. <laughs> I was just, you know, I was really torn that he said that. And uh, I went ahead and I just did it anyway. Will he let me hide? I got up and walked out. I only played a little bit. Yeah, and it's a song that also you changed it up quite a bit. It was slower, you know, it was like you were really sort of got into storyteller mode, even though you didn't have the full story to tell, unfortunately. They clip you after like yeah, it's 90 hard, seconds. Yeah, it's hard, it's hard to get a minute 30 story, you know, the song. That's the hardest part, really. You also mixed it up with Come Together and mm -hmm. brought out a didgeridoo. Yeah. Not a didgeridoo, don't we are a didgeridoo. It's definitely a didgeridoo. Yeah. Let's hear about this. Like, where does the idea for a didgeridoo come about? Do people, like, sort of scratch their heads when you're like, let's bring in a didgeridoo? There's something called, it, this, originally this was what I wanted, um, it's tubin throat singing. Okay. It's from, I know it sounds weird. I don't really know what weird. this is, so. <laughs> No, it's, um, it sounds like a didgeridoo, but it's a, a human voice makes it. Some kind of Eastern thing. My friend Brian Walker can do this, and that's what I thought of immediately. I was like, I, I'd like that on there, but you know, I couldn't have my friend do it, and I don't know anybody else who can do it. It's like a thing out of Asia, and it's a meditative thing. Okay. Um, but the closest sound to that is, is a didgeridoo. I don't know, it just came to me. This is a one note thing. The song is only a few chords and it worked. And I love the iTunes version of it. It's sort you of like- You hear it more, I think. You do hear it better. It's sort of like, let us clear the way, here mm -hmm. comes come together or something. Yeah, it's like just the undulating sound underneath the rest of the music and I don't know. I think it worked. I liked it. Nobody else did it. No one did. Yeah. It was it was like wacky instrument week on Idol. <laughs> I think you missed a few words on the song. Did you notice that? Yes. No one else seemed to notice it. And I know you called it. me out I for did. it. I, I watched did. that episode. I was like, <laughs> darn, nobody noticed and, and Mike noticed and now I'm screwed. I'm concerned that Crystal messed up some of the lyrics and zero out of four judges called her on it. Yeah, yeah I noticed. I had a lot of trouble with those words because this it's a song about I don't it's like what yeah. is it about? I'm not quite sure either. You know, I could say monkey finger three times and I don't think it would matter. I'm not really sure what it all meant. I'll admit it's a to, good song. I'll admit to Googling the lyrics before being certain and calling you on it, because I was like, I think she messed these up, but, but who, I'm not the, sure. who, who the heck knows, you know? The judges didn't notice and I wasn't gonna say anything. God, Thanks, you know, Mike. can't get with you for that. <laughs>